State Senator remains under active investigation after our investigation revealed in May she was selling tickets to hear her give marijuana investment advice. But now her business is taking on a new look and she's recruiting new members to join a pyramid scheme. Target 3 investigator Mark Maxwell is live in our Capitol newsroom tonight. Mark, you've been digging into Senator Patricia Van Pelt's side business. Paul, you may recall Senator Patricia Van Pelt was selling, uh, said she knew which cannabis stocks were viable, and she was selling tickets to seminars where she'd give this investment advice. But now she's asking customers to invest in their own business out of their own home where they sell her products for a small commission. Once uh, She holds weekly calls to keep these people motivated and selling her products, but once she started name-dropping some prominent, recognizable Illinois politicians, we started asking questions. President Dr. Patricia Van Pelt will guide you through Wakana University. Learn how to make edibles, invest in cannabis stocks, and build wealth. It was offers like this one. Marijuana millionaires. Selling investment advice for cannabis stocks that landed Senator Patricia Van Pelt under investigation at the Secretary of State's Securities Division. Because that probe is still underway, this claim in particular during a Wakana conference call Thursday set off alarm bells. And I signed up Senator and the Secretary of State and the Wakana Court of Court. In leaked audio, Van Pelt appears to tell new recruits, Secretary of State Jesse White and Cook County Clerk Dorothy Brown were business partners in her new venture. After we started asking questions, White's office, which warns consumers to avoid scams, denied any involvement in Wakana, saying Van Pelt embellished. Brown's office said she is not involved. Both did buy products from Van Pelt years ago in a now defunct pyramid scheme called Five Links. Its owner was later convicted of fraud. Tuesday, Van Pelt said that's what she was referring to and said no current elected officials are involved in her new multi-level marketing company that now sells CBD oil. Like micro enterprising and network marketing, it's home based parties. We do home based parties. Her updated promotional video invites members to a Wakana Lounge. Schedule a visit to Wakana Lounge or attend a focus group. But the company dispensary and headquarters are registered here. The only visible Wakana sign tucked away inside the door of this insurance company on Chicago's south side. While she initially invited people to become marijuana millionaires, her website says most people that signed up make less than $100 a month. You know, we have people that range all the way from 60 cents all the way to, you know, $13,000 in a month. A disclaimer on her website reads, the average affiliate spends between $500 and $3,000 in expenses as they build their business, and less than 4% of them earn sufficient commission to cover their costs. Van Pelt gave this motivational speech to members struggling to strike it rich. And if you're in Wakanda, you need to learn the use of thought. If you are in poverty, and she painted a brighter future of opportunity, promising new recruits the company would soon enter the cannabis space. We're not trying to sell just CBD oil. That's our entry point. Wakana does not have a cannabis license. Tuesday afternoon, Van Pelt changed her story. Wakana has no, no um, plans to become a cannabis company. The Chicago Democrat did not vote to legalize small amounts of marijuana for recreational use due to a conflict of interest. She confirmed Tuesday she still holds stock in marijuana companies. Um, I don't see reason why anybody, any lawmaker should not be investing in any of them, any uh, industry accident. After our initial report, lawmakers scrambled to put in protections in the law that would ban lawmakers from being able to invest in marijuana companies for up to two years, that two-year ban. They accidentally passed it as a lifetime ban. So now lawmakers are taking a look at scaling that back and softening that language to allow passive investment in the stock market now and for lawmakers to become direct investors or owners of cannabis companies after that two-year waiting period. We'll see how that goes later this week in veto session. Paul? Yeah, probably some wise words from the Wu-Tang Clan here. Cash rules everything around me. Some advice for lawmakers in Springfield. Mark Maxwell, thanks for that report tonight. All right.